Hey everybody, this is David Mins from G4 Guitar Schools, and in this lesson today we're taking a look at an introduction to reading music. So what I'd like you to do is go and find your binders, okay, and open them to the two pages that will be appearing on your screen right now. The first page we want to find is the reading book one page, and it looks like this. And the second page we want to find is called Notes in the Open Position, and it looks like this. If you don't have your book to hand, then you can click the links below, and that will open the pages that you're going to need. Now, the first page we're going to look at is the Reading Book 1, and we're going to go right to the top and look at Exercise 1. So Exercise 1, as you can see, is broken into four bars of four measures. And we should remember that from our rhythm lesson, where we started to look at the same thing. So remember, bars and measures are the same thing. Each one is a container and it contains four beats. So if we look at that very uh, top line, you can see there's a single note, okay, a note head, a circle, that appears in the top space. And that is a note of E, and that note is found here on the guitar on string one. And that's the E note we're looking for. Okay. okay. Now if you need help finding that, take a look back at the notes in the open position page and that'll point you in the right direction. Okay. So we're going to take the note of E. The first note we, you see in that bar is a whole note because that note is on its own and it rings out for a complete number of four beats which sounds like one, two, three, four. The second bar, okay, again is in the same position. The note head is in the top space but now it has a tail to it. That's a half note and we're going to be picking on beats one and three because each one of those notes is going to last for a count of two. So the second bar would be one, two, three, four. Okay. Bar three. Okay. You can see there are the notes heads. Note heads again are in the same position. They're all in that top space. So again, they are all E notes. Okay. Now the note head is filled in, and again we have a tail, but there's four of them. So they are called quarter notes. Okay. And they will be strummed on beats or picked rather on beats one, two, three, four. So number three bar sounds like this: one, two. And the last bar, as you can see, is back to a whole note that we started with, a note of E, one, two, three, four. So let's put that together. Let's count in slowly, okay? And you're gonna play along with me and watch the music as we go. Here we go, so one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, let's do it again, three, back to number one, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, we're going to do it again, and number one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, one more time, here we go, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's your E note, okay? We've been playing a whole note because that note lasts for the whole bar, rings out for four beats. We played two half notes because at each beat is worth half the bar, which is a count of two. So we have two sets of two there. Then we played four quarter notes. Each beat gets, each note gets one beat. It's a quarter of a bar. And we finished again the exercise with another whole note being one beat, lasting four beats for the whole bar. So that's where you'll find your E note. And so exercise two, the layout is exactly the same. We have four bars, okay? And you'll see the rhythm is the same. We have the first bar as a whole note, second bar is two half notes, third bar is four quarter notes, back to a single whole note. This time it's changed because you'll see the note head is now crossing the top line of our music staff. Okay, so the note head is on that top line, that is a note of F, okay? And as you look across the exercise, you'll see that that note is on in the same position all the way through. So in music, it's the position of the note head, whether it's in a space or on a line, that gives the note its name. The fact that a whole note is 
transparent, it's, it's just a circle, the half note is a circle with a tail, the quarter note is a black dot with a tail, the colours and the shapes make no difference to the value at all in terms of its letter. Okay, so we can see this second exercise, and the same was true of exercise one with E. As they all appeared in the same, pl same position on the music staff, they were all the same notes. So the shape and the colour changes the time that we're going to be picking the notes for, such as the whole note, the half note, the quarter note. Okay. So a note of F, we're going to find here on the first fret of the first string. This is a note of F, okay, which is there. Uh, refer to the uh, open string page if you want to have a look at that as well, just to refresh. But that's F. And we're going to put our first finger here on the first fret. And we're going to count in, and we're going to play this one together. Okay, here we go with the F note. One, two, three, four. And F, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're going to do it again. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. And one, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Here we go again. And one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Here we go again. And one, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's your note of F. And now you're reading music. So, um, practice exercise one, exercise two until you feel comfortable with it. Then take a look at the one underneath. Exercise three uses the same notes, okay, but now we're changing between the E and the F note. So exercise three is just a little bit more challenging, just ja jumping between the E and the F note, between the E and the F note. You'll see there's a mixture of whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. So give that one a go and see how you make of that, and we'll talk much more in the lessons, okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.